Dead Space – Extraction is a 2009 rail shooter and prequel to the 2008 video game Dead Space. Originally released for the Wii, it is included with the PlayStation 3 limited edition version of Dead Space 2, and is available on the PlayStation Network. Dead Space – Extraction takes place before the events of Dead Space and during the same time as the film Dead Space – Downfall. It revolves around a group of space colonists from the Aegis Seven colony fighting against the infection of necromorphs created when the red marker is removed. Necromorphs are the re-animated, mutated corpses of humans and serve as the major antagonists of the game. It was developed by Visceral Games and published by Aya Games. The game was released in September 2009 in North America, with the PAL region release following in October. Although initially a Wii exclusive, it was announced during E3 2010 that a port of the game would be included in the PlayStation 3 version of Dead Space 2, using the PlayStation Move controller. Gameplay Dead Space – Extraction is a first-person rail shooter introducing enemies, characters, weapons and environments to the Dead Space series. Players also have some degree of control over the camera. The game uses the pointer function of the Wii Remote for aiming at enemies and can also be controlled through the Wii Zapper. Twisting the Wii Remote or Wii Zapper activates a weapon's secondary firing mode, and swinging the nunchuck or shaking the zapper can perform a melee attack or shake off enemies that have grabbed onto the player. Players can use a kinesis option at any time to make objects float, draw closer, or throw them at enemies. Kinesis can also be used to grab flying projectiles and fire them back. Topic. Plot A small crew of miners, among them Sam Caldwell, are helping extract the red marker from Aegis 7. The crew begin to suffer hallucinations, including Sam, who begins killing his crewmates in possible self-defense. Before he can escape, a P-Sec squad, including Detective Nathan McNeil, arrives, killing him. One week later, McNeil, working on the case file of the incidents, meets an old friend, Sergeant Gabriel Weller, now serving on the Ishimura. Upon arrival, the two discover the entire colony is infected and are attacked, first by psychotic colonists, then by necromorphs. They make it to the PSEC headquarters, where they discover Lexine Murdoch, Caldwell's girlfriend and agree to take her to safety. The group races to find a shuttle and eventually find one in the Megavents, thanks to mining company executive Warren Eckhart. They fly to the Ishimura for help, but are warned to return, they are shot down, causing the shuttle to crash on the Ishimura and forcing them to spacewalk to a nearby airlock. Inside, they discover the ship is also infested. Heading to the safety of the bridge, they encounter Nicole Brennan in the medical bay, she stays in case other survivors arrive. The group fall into the sewage system, where Lexine is attacked by swarmers and pulled into a water tank. The group assumes she has died. Dr. Karen Howell discovers Lexine, who has somehow survived, and the two find McNeil, Eckhart, and Weller. McNeil, Weller, and Lexine continue on while Howell attempts to shut down the sewage system, guarded by Eckhart. While Howell berates Eckhart for replacing staff with fanatical unitologists, she is attacked by a necromorph tentacle. Eckhart flees and locks the door behind him. When he finds the others, Eckhart lies, saying Howell locked the door in order to sacrifice her life for the group. McNeil and Lexine split up from Weller and Eckhart to search for a usable shuttle to flee in. Weller and Eckhart find a shuttle but Weller catches Eckhart finishing a recording of a message to a member of the Church of Unitology. Weller watches the message, Eckhart says he was sent to find a person who was immune to the effects of the marker, and who could protect others from its effects as well, and he believes Lexine is that person. He also explains that he arranged Howell's death because she was beginning to suspect his intentions. 
When Weller is done watching the message, Eckhart shoots Weller and tells him of his plans, only to be killed by a necromorph himself. McNeil and Lexine find Weller and escape on the shuttle right after McNeil shuts down the power to the cannons on the Ishimura that were preventing them from leaving, although he had to cut off his arm in the process. As they escape, they hear a transmission from the USG Kellyan. Lexine tries to warn him away but they do not receive the message. In an epilogue, Lexine is attacked from behind by a necromorph. The scene gives the impression that McNeil, who had been seeing things and hearing voices, just as all infected do, has transformed into the necromorph and is attacking Lexine. One can see that the ship on which she is being attacked is the shuttlecraft the three protagonists had boarded. At the last moment, she grabs a pistol and aims it at the necromorph. The scene ends with the muzzle of the gun flashing. Lexine and Weller's story is continued in Dead Space 2, Severed, which occurs three years later, between the events of Dead Space and Dead Space 2. <laughs> development Extraction was developed by Visceral Games formerly Aya Redwood Shores with assistance from Eurocom. It had been in development for at least a year before it was formally announced on February 18, 2009. The game was designed specifically for the Wii console. Development time was around 14 months, less than was the case for the first Dead Space title as aspects of art design, weapons and locations were inherited from the original game. The game's bonus material primarily consists of the motion comic version of the Dead Space comic miniseries published by Image Comics which are unlocked as the player progresses through the game. Topic: Reception Dead Space Extraction received favorable reviews, with an average rating of 82 one hundredths on review aggregator Metacritic. Official Nintendo Magazine awarded the game 84% and called it, a first rate introduction to one of the finest survival horror franchises of recent years. Eurogamer awarded the game 8 out of 10, while Computer and Video Games awarded it 7.0, 10. IGN gave the game a score of 8.5, 10 along with an Editor's Choice Award. Giant Bomb was less enthusiastic, awarding the game 3 out of 5 stars, criticizing the game's abrupt ending and short play time, although recommending Dead Space fans check it out. Edge praised the game's efforts to expand the possibilities of the rail shooter genre, dubbing it the Citizen Kane of on rails gun games, or at the very least the towering inferno. Despite receiving favorable reviews, the title sold only 9,200 units in its first five days at retail in the U.S. In the Best and Worst of 2009 awards, GameSpot awarded Extraction Best Game No One Played and Best Wii Game. IGN awarded it Best Shooter on the Wii. Extraction scriptwriter, Anthony Johnston, stated that due to the game having an M rating, being released on Wii, being a rail shooter, and lacking publicity, it received minimal attention. Johnston also mentions these are the same reasons the game was praised. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation 3 version. The game was released for the PlayStation 3 both as a standalone purchase on the PlayStation Network and with the limited edition of Dead Space 2. The port of Extraction is compatible with the DualShock 3 and 6-axis controllers, as well as PlayStation Move. Graphical enhancements have been added to increase the polygon count and make models smoother for the move to HD. For the most part, the port is identical to its Wii counterpart, except that it does not contain the bonus materials included in the original release. <laughs> 